And knowing the why, I mean, I, I so take this podcast, for example. Mm. If the reason you were doing this podcast was to get a bunch of people to listen mm. and you, you're you going on every day and you're looking at the numbers, how many people have listened, how many people, oh, we got mm. 100 more, 100 more. If that stopped and you stopped getting more listeners, it would potentially drive whether or not you're going to do this or not. Whereas if your why was because, listen, I've got some some people I want to talk with. It's yeah. about the conversation. Yeah. It's about what I'm going to learn in this conversation. It's about, you know, what my friends and family that I know are listening are going to get to learn and eavesdrop into this conversation. Yes. It doesn't matter if a million people listen or 10 people listen because the root of it is in this constant stretching and learning and growing between, you know, the two of us. So when you know the why it's going to sustain you in, mm. you know, doing, doing these things. Um, but when the why gets, man, it, and it, I think about this with the Bob Project all the time, you know, we've got millions of people every day that are tuning in and watching it. If we all of a sudden get driven by how many people are watching it versus the content that we're creating and the reason why we're creating it, mm. we're going to drift. We'll get off, you know, we'll, we'll start making hot topic videos just for the sake of doing it to try to get more views. And, and yeah, you just got to remember the why. And so when it comes to being a human, what does it look like to really love God and love others really well and yeah. remember the why? And I think that can shape and change.